friends. Oh man, I missed you guys. It's been like a week since we've been writing anything. So we're going to start a whole new writing piece today and I'm so excited about it. So I hope you guys have on your sports stuff for sports sports day for spirit week. I have on my Red Sox hat and my Red Sox t-shirt because they're my favorite baseball team. So today we're going to write another argumentative writing piece. Remember, Argumentative writing isn't us arguing with people. It's us trying to show people why we think we're right. So first thing I want you to do is listen to what we're going to write about. We are going to write about the best season of the year. So we talked about the seasons of the year in science a lot. There's spring, summer, fall, and winter. So spring is... March, April, and May. And that's when the leaves start coming on the trees, the flowers start blooming, it starts to get a little warmer. It's not hot yet because it's still right after winters, but it's getting, the sun's coming out more. And then summer is June, July, and August. And that's when it gets really warm. We have a break from school. You might go on a vacation. And then after summer is... Um, fall or autumn, and that is uh, September, October, and November. So that's when the leaves start to fall off the trees. Um, you might have to start wearing a sweatshirt at night. It might get a little cooler. It starts to get darker earlier. Um, and then there's winter, which is December, January, and February. And that's when it snows and it's cold. Um, but also there are holidays that we celebrate in Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all types of different holidays that we might celebrate. So you might get excited about that. Um, but there are all these different kinds of reasons why you might think that what season is your favorite, the best season of the year. So take a minute to think about what season you want to write about. What is the best season of the year, in your opinion? What do you think is the best? And remember, you have to have some ideas to tell your reader why you think that that is the best season. So take a minute, pause the video. Well, don't, okay, take a minute. While you're thinking, I want you to grab a piece of paper, a pencil, and also be thinking about what you want to write about. Because today, we're going to write, uh, we're going to uh, make our web. We're going to make our thinking web where we write down what we're writing about and then our ideas that go with it. So pause the video. When we come back, we'll have our paper, we'll have our pencil, and we'll have what season it, we think is the best season of the year. All right, friends, great job. All right, we're going to start our thinking web. So the first thing we do is in the middle of the paper, we're going to draw a circle. Now, here's where we put our idea. So. What is your favorite season? Spring, summer, fall, or winter? When you know which one you want to write about, go ahead and write it in the middle. And I'm going to write what I'm going to write about. So summer is my favorite season. Summer might not be your favorite season. You might not like the hot. That's totally fine. We're gonna, we might be writing about different seasons and that's awesome. It's great to have different ideas. So once you have written what season you're gonna write about, that's when we start making our web. We're gonna write our ideas. So I'm gonna write my first idea here. Why is summer my favorite season? My birthday is in the summer. So I'm going to write birthday. Now, if your birthday isn't in the summer, you're not going to write about that. Uh, if you have winter, you can write one reason why. If you have fall, you can write one reason why. If you have spring, you can write, write one reason why. Another reason why summer is my favorite season is I love Love, 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 love. The beach. 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 I could lay on the beach every day 
every every day and go in the water and read books. The beach is a very calm place for me. I love going to the beach. So I have two reasons so far. So you can go ahead and write your second reason. You might not have summer, which means you're not going to have the beach because you can't go to the beach in the wintertime, can you? It'd be pretty cold. All right, I'm going to think, I'm going to write my third reason. My third reason I love summer is I love the sun. I love being hot. I love the sun shining. I love walking outside and just being hot. A lot of people tell me I'm weird because of that, but I love it. I love the sun. I love being hot. So I'm going to write sun. You can go ahead and write your third reason. All right. Now I'm going to write my fourth and probably my last reason. Every summer, I go on a vacation. Sometimes I take my kids. Sometimes I'm selfish and I go with my friends and leave my kids at home with my parents. I always go on vacation. Sometimes I go to Disney. Sometimes I go to an island because I love the beach. So I'm going to write vacation. All right, friends, so right now on your web, you should have what season you want to write about in the middle, and you should have at least one, two, three, four reasons why you think that's the best season of the year. All right, guys, awesome job making your thinking webs today. Tomorrow, we're going to take our thinking web, and we're going to start our first draft. Now, remember, when you're done with this, put it in your writing folder or in your backpack, or on your desk, or on a bureau that you have somewhere safe because we're going to use it all week. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.